Hello everybody, this is Nate P and we are looking today at a single component from an MRE that is MRE cheese spread. We're taking a single MRE component, in this case cheese spread, and making a cheese souffle out of this. Now, uh, I've had cheese spread a couple of times, uh, jalapeno cheese spread um, before I started doing these videos with the Chili Mac and uh, plain cheese spread from my first review. But as I did with the pound cake, uh, I'm not using official uh, army issue cheese spread. I'm using uh, a civilian produced cheese spread in order to have enough of the product. Uh, this cheese spread is produced by Thermopack, out of Stone Mountain, Georgia. And uh, you know, just looking at the uh, nutrition information on this, it is surprisingly, um, you know, for the amount of cheese it is, it's not very uh, calorie dense or um, nutrient dense. For a one and a half ounce pack, we've got, uh, let's see, 180 calories, 19 grams of fat, only one gram of carbs, not really a whole lot of um, uh, nutrient value, a bunch of vitamin A. I guess. I'll be kind of interested to see how this compares to the actual MRE cheese spread, um, being from a, a private producer. But of course, as we're supposed to do, we need to uh, knead this up a little bit. So let's start that process. Okay, I think that's probably kneaded up good enough. Let's go ahead and massage that down. And get a bunch at the top. Okay. And then cracker on open. Man, I don't know how you other MRE reviewers do this. Because these packets are not that easy to open sometimes. So, got that. Yep, smells very, very, very cheesy. Has that same kind of, not quite so like nuclear radioactive orange from the MRE, but maybe, I don't know, maybe this is fresher, so it's uh, less, less uh, radioactive. Um, so I don't have any uh, MRE tortillas. I do have a regular plain tortilla, store-bought, so we're going to put it on that. Let's just squeeze some of this out here, make a little bloop with the cheese spread. Hey! Exclamation point. Nice orange color to it. A little bit more natural looking, like I said, than the, uh, the regular MRE was. Um, that might be because this is more uh, fresh. Not really sure on that. Um, actually, let me check to see if I can find a production date on these. I'm not seeing a production date on this, so if anybody is knowledgeable here about uh, Thermopack, Stone Mountain, how they might date their products, I'd be really interested to know. Cheese spread on the tortilla. Give it a nice fold over and let's give it a taste. It tastes exactly like it tastes exactly like your standard MRE cheese spread. Yeah, it seems like it's a little more fresh. Probably because it is. And it's, you know, it's not bad. It's um pretty much exactly like uh, what I imagine like <clears throat> cold nacho cheese would be. Um, you know, like you'd get at a football game or at a uh, sporting event or whatever. There we have our actual just plain cheese spread. Yeah, it's pretty good. I gotta say, I don't know if I'm, you know, if this is like growing on me or what. I was not a gigantic fan of the MRE cheese spread. And again, maybe that was because it was a little older 
maybe because I'd never had it before. I don't know. But this is pretty, pretty okay, you know? Uh, I don't think I could eat like an entire tube of this, but it's pretty good. So, all right, now that we've uh, tried our cheese spread, now we're going to make something a little more delicious out of it. Okay, welcome back everybody. We have our lovely, really awesome looking souffle. And I gotta say, I was pretty skeptical about this. I really didn't think it would turn out as good as this has. Um, it smelled delicious while it was baking. But the actual process of making this is different than your standard souffle because of the cheese. Um, typically you use shredded cheese of some sort, but MRE cheese, you know, it doesn't really melt, it doesn't react the way that typical cheese would. So I'm really glad this came out uh, as nice as it did. Um, for those of you that aren't really familiar with souffle, and I was kind of thinking about this while I was baking, um, it, you're basically taking egg whites, beating those into a very stiff consistency, and then making a nice rich cheesy base that you add to that and then bake it together so you get this awesome kind of fluffy cheesy eggy uh, deliciousness okay so enough of my uh, descriptors here let's take a nice taste of this I want to get just kind of the inside first and that's you know that's pretty standard souffle consistency there hmm. let me get another bite here well you know, I, man, I don't know about that. It tastes like a souffle. It almost doesn't taste cheesy. Man, it almost has the consistency of just plain scrambled eggs. It's not super fluffy, but I mean, but it is. Man, I don't know how to describe this. Generally has the consistency of a souffle. But then I'm getting chunks of like, almost kind of seems like scrambled eggs. 
and maybe that's my kind of cooking problem but I, I, I really don't think it's like I don't think it's the cheese's fault so to speak yeah it's definitely really good but I almost can't taste the cheese it's definitely there maybe this is because I've been kind of eating on some of this cheese here and there but so like maybe the I don't know the taste is in my mouth still it almost does it almost has like a cheesy aftertaste um, again if this was made with like cheddar or something you'd have like bam like a really 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 strong cheese flavor this doesn't I was thinking of this when I was making it this is like the craziest combination of kind of high-end hot cuisine and you know <laughs> MRE cheese spread essentially low lower end low brow kind of food no offense to anybody who likes this believe me but you know you don't you expect to go to a fancy restaurant to get a souffle you don't expect to get it with um with cheese spread definitely very very different um and you know a different kind of an episode so let me know what you think about this i've got another episode in the works it's kind of one-off single ingredient uh, episodes uh, they'll, they'll probably show up here and there but but we'll be back to the full mre review and recipe pretty soon so thank you all for watching i really do appreciate it and i'll see you next time